So let me log out from here and try to log in. So login and now I'm logging into the uh, main act, uh, admin activity. So it should uh, happen at the time of account creation. So let me go here and check what actually is happening here when the registration is going on. Okay. Okay. The problem is that here you can see based on this student and teacher, we need to uh, send them to the appropriate activity here. So I actually forget to do that. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to check is teacher box is checked. Okay. If teacher box is checked, then I'm going to going to send them to the admin activity once the account is created successfully. Okay. Otherwise here, if uh, student activity, sorry, student checkbox is checked, then I will send him to the main activity. Okay. So now after this, we should be able to send the user at the time of registration to the uh, appropriate um, activity. So let's run, uh, let's run this application and create one more account for the teacher. And we will see if it's going to send us to the admin activity. Okay. Okay. Log out, logging out from there. And uh, Let's create a account here. Teacher one. Now I'm going to register as a teacher here and create the new account and it should send us to the admin activity. Okay. So this is how this logic work. And I just noticed one more a bug in this application. Okay. So let me show you, let me close this. And now if I open this application again, since Previously, I have logged in with the admin or teacher account. I should actually directly go to the teacher account. Okay. But this application uh, do not send me to the teacher account actually send me to the uh, register account. Uh, sorry to the normal user account. Okay. So if I open this, I'm at the normal log. I'm logged in as a normal user and this is a bug. Okay. This should not happen. So let me go ahead and fix this. And there is some simple um, method to fix this. Fix this. So we have to go to the login here and in the on start, if you remember, I have checked if the user is already logged into our application previously or not. Okay. And in that case, I'm directly sending them to the main activity. So here, what I actually need to do is I need to check what kind of user was previously a logged in. And based on that, I need to send them to the appropriate activity. So that was the mistake that I did here. So it's a good thing that I made the part five, you know, so that I'll be able to fix all this box. So now here I need to actually uh, get the data of the currently logged in user and extract what kind of, uh, you know, field is present. And based on that, I need to send them to the admin or normal user activity. So let me do that. So first let's just uh, get the data. So document reference, you know how to do that, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, here we need the Firebase store, obviously. So Fire store dot get instance dot collection. Collection is users. Okay. And we need to go to the document and, and we will identify the user based on the UID. So what we need to do is we need to, uh, get the current logged in user. So get instance dot get current user dot get UID or you can just create the user object there and call the UID there. Okay. And now what I am going to do is I'm going to get the data of that particular user. So we can extract the data using the get method. Okay. And here I will add the add on success listener here event. We need to ha have the event because sometimes, you know, uh, this operation may get failed. So new on success listener. Now this document snapshot is going to have that data that we need. Okay. Let me just quickly add the failure listener here. Okay. In case of data extraction failed, what we will do is we will log out the user and send them to the 
uh, login activity okay. so if user is if we are not able to extract the data of the particular user that means user do not have enough data or maybe some kind of uh, um, you know a bad situation is, situation is going on there so in that case we will just uh, send the log out the user and send them to the main activity or login activity so to log out the user we can call the firebase auth and sign out and we'll start the new activity start activity new intent get application context and we'll just send them refresh this particular page actually and finish the previous activities okay and in case the data is retrieved successfully now we need to check what kind of user is logging in so what i'm gonna do is if document snapshot dot get string and is teacher so in your case if you are using is admin or is user or something like that you can check that okay so if is teacher is not equals to null that means teacher is not null then we will send him to the admin activity or teacher activity okay so i need the same code that we have written here so i'm just going to copy this from here go back to the login activity and paste it here and similarly if document snapshot get string is student is not equals to null that means student is logging in and we will send them to the normal main activity all right so this is the logic that we need to implement here to be able to find out what kind of user was logged in previously so now hopefully when i run this application we should be able to fix all the error that we got all the box actually not error so let's run this and there is huge difference between errors and the box so yeah let's wait for this app to run okay it is launching the activity and it is directly sending me to the uh, log admin section okay so there is slight delay there you can you can see that um login screen for a second that's okay because we are actually uh, retrieving the data here and checking the condition so it's going to take some time so uh, you are going to see that login screen there for a second so uh, there is way to eradicate that but we will talk about that later in some other tutorial series okay so this video is already too long obviously so let me know in the comment below what do you think and uh, don't forget to fix all these bugs in your application if you have been following from the part one and i hope you like this video and subscribe to our channel for the more content and let me know in the comment below what kind of tutorials you want you know so i've been thinking about making other type of tutorials as well in the web development psv and so on and i will see you in the next videos bye bye have a good day or night based on where you are bye bye